we we're all very passionate about you know filmmaking so we're like oh let's put a film festival and uh, we decided to do it last minute like six week turnover that's how we w w how fast it was and the first year we just showed k uh, we had about i think 12 teams or maybe 13 i don't even that's know that's a lot dude yeah that's a lot <laughs> yeah and then it was very uh it was fast paced we sh we had the uh, art house here that's where we showcased the films and again that was a uh, it was very hectic cuz we had uh, we were expecting only 60 people to show up if i'm being honest mm -hmm. the most i was like oh if we get 60 that's pretty cool we had like i think maybe like 120 140 oh, I, I stopped hunt counting at 120 that's the thing dang okay. and then we created a fire hazard for the theater which it was it was like oh man we kind of felt bad but it was pretty cool <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Film Goals Podcast. Today, I'm with the one and only Jose Uribe. Yes, Jose Uribe. He's a filmmaker, and he's putting together a festival here in town. And uh, welcome to the podcast. Oh, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, so before we get into the whole festival stuff, I just want to ask you a little bit about you. Like, how did you get into filmmaking? What inspired you? Uh, what, how I got into filmmaking is, uh, well, I grew up in the hood. So uh, instead of, you know, getting in trouble or gangs, I, I, well, I, all my friends were gang members, but I never got in trouble because I love watching films. I was mostly home cooking, cleaning, studying, you know, being a good guy because I, you know, again, uh, I grew up in the hood and I didn't have citizenship. So, okay. <laughs> so like I was mostly focused on watching films. I, I grew up watching like, you know, Independence Day. Men in Black too. I mean, Men in Black, you know, those, like, I went to the theaters, like, very, very little. That's where I grew up, you know, my passion for films. I love watching movies, so. And then how did you um, start getting involved in creating them? Uh, I don't know. I just decided to take a class at uh, one, uh, one of my lectures at UNLV for film. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of enjoyed it. But I, the thing is, that I, I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy, like, being the boom mic operator. You know, I like producing. I like being around everywhere. I like helping out with, you know, camera. I like helping out cooking and cleaning, too. I do everything. Uh, also budgeting, you know, getting a budget, but, you know, financing a film. I like doing everything. So that's why I chose to do producing. Okay, and then did you uh, continue film school after that, or no? My elective classes were uh, used in film, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. I should have gone into film school, but uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I just mostly I just decided to one day just like oh let me just help do PA stuff, and then I, I you know I would you know help out with PA. Then I got a uh, I worked on a film uh, uh, with UNLV. We got the Johnny Brennan Award. Uh, I helped out that I associate produced that um, Shellfish. Okay. With uh, Hunter Hopewell and Professor Menendez, they they produced that, so I ended up doing that as well. Okay, that's cool. What was that about? That one is like uh, about a filmmaker that wants you know be a film that a uh, director that wants to make a film. It's just basically the 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 you know the ups and downs of making a film. You know, like you know how it is. You know, they they tell you don't go, don't do a film. You know, it's the worst decision. Go into something else, and it's basically about that. Okay, that's cool. And what, that was a narrative, not a documentary or anything. Yeah, narrative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. And then after that, you did. Uh, did you do any more films after that? After oh after yeah, school? yeah. And then I I, uh, I went to uh, I don't know if I went before or after, but I went to CinemaCon. It was when they were playing. Okay. Um, they went playing. Uh, I think Civil War. I don't know what year was that when it came mm -hmm. out. So yeah, that's where I met my friend Jeff. And then it turns out like we both wanted to do films. He's a director. I'm a producer. And then the thing is, I uh, when I produce, I get really involved with the project. I get emotion attached. It's like a relationship, you know? Mm -hmm. And I can't just say yes to any project. So he was like, yeah, help produce this. And like, I was like, yeah, sure. You know, like, again, like he, I've gone, I've worked projects where the director just quits on me. And oh. it's like, come on, bro. We, I kind of put money into it. And, and he was like, yeah, you know, I won't quit on you. You know, we're not going to. And then I was like, sure, buddy. And I was like being positive. But at the end, yeah, it worked out. We, uh, we did two short films and then uh, we shut down Fremont Street for one of them. Mm hmm and then we uh, it was a musical and then the other one um it's a feature film the uh, it's called memories of the meadow it should be done next year for sure so i remember like when we talked a little bit about at the mixer you were telling me about the musical um tell me a little bit about how you got how you were able to shut down the downtown. oh that was a team effort that was a team effort i had to do a presentation for the city mm -hmm. Yeah, so that uh, so Melissa Del Rosara, she's our, our, our she was a producer on it. She helped us get the cast and crew, get everything, you know, basically, you know, help us produce it, line produce it, and everything. She did everything. That's where I, you know, she helped me with everything. She's one of the I owe, like me uh, succeeding in film, you know, where I kind of started believing in myself. She was the one that helped me out with everything, you know. 
And yeah, so she helped me get the cast, the crew, everybody. It was like a whole team effort. And then me and Jeff, you know, he wrote the script. And then I basically did a whole presentation for the city of Las Vegas. So I basically went up there and told them what our project was. And I told them, hey, I work with the BAF budget. And, you know, I did comedy. And they're like, what, is, what does that mean? You know, the police officer was asking me. And it's like, oh, broke as F, sir. We're broke. And then, uh, <laughs> and then yeah, we were able to get discounts from that. Um, but basically, yeah, I went up there, did stand-up comedy. And then <laughs> I, I told them we were broke because we were honestly blo- broke. We had a situation where um, a producer that was part of the project ended up stealing money from us. Oh, shit. And then, so, yeah, again, like, uh, stuff happens, you know. Like, we weren't really... Well, you know, like that that's in the past, but that helped us improve like that helped us build our relationship, me and everybody involved. We realized like, yeah, whatever struggles we have, we're gonna, you know, come up and, you know, survive them and we got closer. Everybody that worked on the film got closer. That's awesome, man. And uh did they give you any like stipulations or what was like the whole um process to be able to like shut down that it was a, it was a Fremont Street yeah, or was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, Fremont Street, like where it's the hotels are the busiest. Yeah. yeah, between Sixth Street and Las Vegas Boulevard, they told us that you can't. They, in detail, they had to tell we had to we had to only film. We couldn't get into the sidewalk, otherwise they would kick us off. Yeah. And then one thing that did they tell us was to uh, warn every business there. And the thing is, uh, the producer, that other producer that I don't want to name because you know I don't want to give him any clout. Yeah. Even positive or negative, but uh, he was supposed to let out every business know what was happening. You know that we were getting filmed, and he didn't do it. So I, I went around talking to every business owner, apologizing, telling them, "I'm sorry, we're going to be filming here. We're going to filming here." And yeah, that's Damn, uh, that's one thing. We had to get two police officers, and uh, normally they charge like two thousand, and they gave because they felt bad for us and they liked us too. <laughs> they gave us a thousand dollars discount, so we had to do that. And then we had to barricade the whole location, making sure you know we had to get private security. Meaning, I asked my friends if they could be private security, <laughs> and then. Yeah, that's it awesome, was pretty man. crazy. That's pretty cool, though. And what was the musical about? Uh, well, it's about an artist, struggling artist, you know, that just wants to. Again, it's it's a relatable story to us. Like you know, we're trying to make it, and it's it's a. Uh, it was going to be a one shot film, oh, one take, you yeah. know, but it didn't go correctly. <coughs> so it's a it's up for representation. It's about you, the the person that's watching it. Oh okay. And is so, that out anywhere? Uh, it's uh, my director's not done with it. Uh, oh, okay. When was thing, that? When did you guys shoot that? We shot it down like four years ago. Oh, That's okay. the thing is he uh, he got involved in another project that took him off that project, and oh, then okay. so that's why you know uh, we're almost done with it. The only thing is the sound is the sound we gotta sync and make sure it's pr- if it's pretty, you know. So um, that yeah, that film was four years ago. Anything else that you're working on right oh, now? Oh yeah, so uh, Memory Barn. That's the most recent one that we, we shot uh, about. Uh, we shot it a month ago. And uh, yeah, it's still by George Metchkov. He's a really good director. He's one of my favorite directors here. Okay. Don't tell him I'm a fan, but I'm a fan. <laughs> Everybody that I work with, I'm a fan of. You know, so yeah, I just don't let them know. Otherwise, I'd be like, oh, you know, you know, you, you know what I mean. So, but yeah, that's what is the thing. that? What is that movie about? Oh, that one is a cyberpunk. Um, oh, okay. It's a cyberpunk uh, that takes place in the future. I don't want to say too much about it until like the trailer's released. Okay. It's shot. It's completely shot, or yeah, we shot it here. Yeah, we shot it here. It's completely shot and everything. So right now, Tiffany uh, mm-hmm. from Eccentric Artist, she's editing. So okay. yeah, she's one of the best editors too. So okay. in, in Las Vegas, I'm not. I'm not even like kissing up to her. Like she's one of the best <laughs> editors in Vegas. You know. So let's talk about the 49 Hour Film Festival. Um, so tell me a little bit about first how it it became a thing, and then talk a little bit about um, how you started that collaboration with your partners. Oh, yeah. So, like, I wanted, uh, I produced the 20, 2020, let me see, 2020, that was last year, 2021, the Mm -hmm. uh, 48 hour film project. Mm -hmm. And then again, I kind of, I like to be controlled, like, fairly. I want to experiment with stuff, you know, and kind of like take chances. And so I kind of wanted to do it on my own. So I ended up getting a a crew, you know, Gabriel Smith. He's a really good Italian cinematographer. He directs too. So I connected with him, and then Nicole was a friend of mine. Like, just I met her through Uber just randomly, because I do Uber too, you know. Is she a, was she a filmmaker or <laughs> no? No, she's really uh, very organized. Organized. She knows how to oh, okay. do 
make things happen. Everybody, so she's not even a filmmaker, but she already started getting to film and acting. Okay, that's awesome. And Marquis, uh, he's a he's a uh, he's a grad from uh, UNLV. He he does film. He's mm-hmm. a writer. Uh, okay. He's a really good writer. So that's how we all connected. Uh, we we're all very passionate about you know filmmaking so we're like oh let's put a film festival and uh, we decided to do it last minute like six week turnover that's how we w- w- how fast it was yeah and the first year we just showed K- uh, we had about i think 12 teams or maybe 13 i don't even that's know. a lot dude yeah that's a lot <laughs> yeah and then it was very uh it was fast paced we sh- we had the uh, art house here that's where we showcased the films and again that was a uh, it was very hectic cuz we had uh, we were expecting only 60 people to show up if i'm being honest mm-hmm. the most i was like oh if we get 60 that's pretty cool we had like i think maybe like 120 140 oh, i i stopped hunt- counting at 120 that's the thing dang okay. and then we created a fire hazard for the theater which it was it was like oh man we kind of felt bad but it was pretty cool actually yeah. <laughs> they made pretty good money from us so like I, you know that's the thing is they made money and then yeah we created well, that's cool. I mean, you had 13 teams, so I'm guessing it would be a little bit more than that. Yeah. But that's cool, man. And then um, what made you want to uh, – or just talk a little bit about the process of putting it together. Yeah, it was uh, very stressful. It was like the 48, but the thing is we kind of – we threw a wrench in it. We have like uh, – in our thing, you could actually uh, – there's a uh, there's a uh, team choice where you could actually pick your own genre. Okay. That's another wrench that we like to throw. And then another thing that we also have is uh, there is one where you could steal a genre from the other team. Okay. And you could trade. Like, yeah, you don't, you, you can't trade it. You just steal it and you, you give them their, you give them yours and you just steal whatever genre. That's another thing. I like chaos, you know. So, <laughs> and then, um, yeah. And then this year we actually have to make everybody, uh, well, all the team leaders sign a contract that they're not being forced to do the competition because, um, this is, uh, yeah, this is very hard. It's a hard competition. It's going to be taking during, you know, November. It's very cold. And then mm-hmm. the thing is, everybody that is uh, competing is crazy. They're like crazy and talented, you know? So again, we want to, you know, we, we, we're doing the whole contract thing where, you know, we're not held liable for, you know, for you competing. And are people still <laughs> able to sign up? Or yeah, yeah. Are the teams they can done? sign up until the the date of the event. Oh, okay. Um, to there's be... yeah, there's uh <clears throat> yeah. So the contract is just for fun. I'm being honest. It's not we don't you know it's just for fun. But yeah. again, but uh, the teams are uh, yeah. You could sign up uh, sign up until yeah. You could sign up on, up until November third at six fifty nine p.m. Our kickoff is in, at seven p.m. Okay, so, and then so if you want to come in last minute, you can yeah sign up and, and then get into the right competition. Right now, there's two teams that are going to be coming out of state one oh. from la and then one from new york because they're allowed uh, to do that you're allowed you're allowing people to come yeah out yeah because <laughs> uh, the thing is they've been talking trash and i was like you guys want to you know talk trash things you know show up and you know okay and who uh <laughs> who's judging the films oh i can't say mm-hmm. right now okay but yeah we have judges already it's just okay. uh, further protection you know no, I gotcha. Yeah, but are yeah. they? Because uh, your thing is like an independent festival. Yeah, yeah. You know, like with the forty eight, um, they have it's like a huge national thing, so they they have the judges in a different state. Yeah, yeah. Judging each other state or whatever. So how are you guys? How are you doing it? Oh, are judges are in it? state. Oh, okay. Judges are in state, and then uh, right now we're uh, we're talking to someone. He's um he might uh show uh he might be a judge. He's from Utah though. So again, we wanna yeah we wanna allow everybody. You know. Mm-hmm. That's cool. No, I like yeah. that you guys are bringing together like all these yeah. different collectives. And if I'm being honest, it's just it's for fun. Like we kind of we're doing the wrestling, UFC, WWE aspect because we're putting up a belt. Mm. The more festivals that happen, you know, anything relating to film and anything putting a spot on, on filmmakers and artists, the better for everybody, you know. Yeah, that's awesome. Dude. No, that's what I like about what you guys are doing, that you're bringing so many collectives together and yeah. all these filmmakers. And you guys are putting the spotlight on the filmmakers, like you told me. Yeah, because um, that's the most important thing is, again, uh, people, people. Uh, I think we, we just don't know market ourselves. People always say, oh, you know, L.A., that's where it's at, or New York. And and they kind of, I've heard stuff where, you know, they're like, oh, you know, they don't really talk about us. You know, they say, they might say something negative, but uh, for me, like everybody I worked with are good, like, they're really good. Like, I'm not even kissing up. I'm like, by association, I become really good because I work on their projects. Yeah. But uh, they're good. Like, they're really good. They're people that are like, damn, they're, uh, they do really good films the way they shot. This one, I'm actually working on a feature film with Corey. Mm-hmm. His name is Corey Lee. He's a really good filmmaker. His film we just got accepted into our film festival as well. And uh, he's a really good filmmaker, 
you know and then you too right like i saw your stuff it's pretty good oh thank you man Appreciate that's what it. i'm saying like we have a lot of really talented filmmakers and i just want to put a spotlight on them yeah and that's, that's the more and more most important thing was we want to showcase las vegas talent because i think we uh we could i i i feel confident of bragging like hey we have pretty good filmmakers here you know I think so too, man. That's why I started this, you know, because yeah. like I want to put that spotlight too on yeah. the filmmakers and everyone that's coming up, you know, here in town. Yeah. And it's not just like, especially like with stuff going on in LA with like strikes and all that. Yeah. It's like, well, you know, there's still people out here that, you know, it affects and, yeah. you know, there's up and coming artists, actors, filmmakers and everything. So, yeah, no, that's the thing is, yeah, we have a lot and I'm, I'm a fan. I'm like, oh man, I like this guy. I like his, you should watch his movie. I, the thing is I brag about them, you know, I'm like, yo, because mm-hmm. the thing is I've seen, like, I really love films. Like I've watched films since I was little mm-hmm. and like I grew up in the hood, like I said, and then. <laughs> I grew up watching New Jack City, Scarface, like those movies you shouldn't be watching. You know, they're very violent. But again, they're just movies. I like watching movies and how, you know, how they produce them. And yeah, the behind the scenes. That's what yeah. made you be a producer. And I want to thank you for officially, like, uh-huh. having my film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On no, there, I, like, so I liked of... it. I, I'm excited about it. I really, uh, I'm excited about it, to be honest. Yeah, so for, I will, we'll be uh, announcing it by this point when the, when the podcast is out that, you know, I'll be premiering 14 days at the festival. So thank you for yeah, allowing yeah, yeah. me to do that um, so that's, i like that you're doing all that and then just talk a little bit about how the festival is going to work because you have the competition but then you also have um people are submitting their work yeah so through film freeway you could submit it you could submit it from film freeway you know uh we charge eight bucks you know again to keep the house lights on meaning uh again we're not really expecting to make money from this if yeah. i'm being honest because last year we did it but uh, it's just to you know pay for like the theater and stuff like that you know some cost but um yeah, it's eight bucks just to submit, and then uh, we're we're looking for uh, yeah feature films and uh, short films. That's one uh, one one aspect of it. We're going to be showcasing you know filmmakers here in Las Vegas. Whatever films you submit, we're going to be like you know we're going to judge. We have a, a team of like eight people that are going to be judging, and you know. Okay, so uh, so the awards that you guys are giving out, um, that's not just for the competition; it's also for the people submitting. Or, uh, we'll have or how so, is that going to work? No, the thing is, right right now we're still working on that. But okay. uh, for the awards, that'll be specifically for the 14-hour film challenge. Gotcha. So there's two things to it. There's the film submissions, you know, from mm-hmm. uh, short cool. and feature films, from just yeah. in general audience, general people. And then the uh, the 14-hour challenge. The competition, yeah. yeah. Right. And then talk a little bit about the stuff that you guys are, are doing. I know you got the belt that you guys are going to be giving yeah, away yeah. to the best, you know, film for the competition and then what else you got and then uh we're also uh we're also doing a uh let me get the get you get your notes bro because i don't know how to say it but it's i mean i'm a filmmaker but it's the r-e-l-f mini oh yeah they shot uh let me see they the most recent they shot indiana jones uh die of destiny with that camera they shot uh the flash uh it was a horrible movie. Are we, can we say it was... We, yeah, man. Say whatever I'm, you want, bro. All right, because I, <laughs> I, I, I like space. Michael Keaton, but I was like, oh, man, that movie was too long movie's for trash. me. trash, yes. Uh, John Wick. I like that movie. It was too long, but again, they shot John Wick 4. <laughs> it's too long. <laughs> they shot John Wick 4. Uh, they shot, uh, what do you call... Oh, Fast X. All right, that movie was horrible, but uh, but uh, Jason Momoa was the best part. Mm-hmm. But again, they shot uh, with this uh, camera. With that camera. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the, 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 with the uh, RELF Mini, uh, they shot all those films with this specific camera. So if you win, uh, you're going to be able to, uh, you know, you're going to be able to uh, rent that. Uh, you, actually, you have to get insurance, but it's not too expensive. But you're going to be able to use that for free if you're the, you know, grand prize winner. That's 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 a dope ass gift right there, yeah, man. It's like it's very expensive. And yeah. the thing is, uh, I wanted to compete. Uh, if I'm being honest, full <laughs> disclosure, I wanted to compete. Uh, well, you're uh, the creator, bro. You can't compete. <laughs> yeah, no. And then they gave, I want to compete for the belt because I want to have a belt. And then they were like, you can't compete for the belt. And I was like, why can't I? And I quit. And I quit for them. And then they're like, no, you can't compete still. So, yeah, I wanted to compete for the belt, to be honest. And then Gabriel wanted to quit mm. because he wants to rent this equipment, you know, this camera. <laughs> so he's like, oh, I can shoot a bunch of stuff, you know. And he was thinking of joining hey, a team and quitting us. And that's then, so funny. But we can't quit because they don't allow us, the other team members. So Yeah, that's the price of, you know. <laughs> being the producers of this yeah but um i like so where did the you, i guess you got the um inspiration from 48 so that's why you named it 49 but you say yeah. you're, you're thinking of changing the name for next year or oh uh, yeah because the thing is uh this year we, we just we weren't even going to do it this year we were going to do it like we're, it was going to be a one-time thing mm. we don't do sequels unless <laughs> if it's like uh you know unless if it's like it's worthy yeah and this time around we we're like yeah let's showcase uh you know let's show uh short and feature films too mm-hmm. And then let's make it bigger. Let's actually plan it ahead. Um, 
because last time we just did it, it was a six week turnover. So let me ask you real quick because I forgot. Um, the short films and features. When is the last? Like, is there a deadline for that, or uh, when can they submit? Well, preferably October twenty fourth. Uh, some people are saying if they could get a you know some leeway. So we're still deciding, but as of right now, October twenty fourth. October twenty fourth. Last time to submit your short films, <laughs> yeah. feature films. Let's go, and it's gonna be a two day event, right? Yeah, November tenth and November eleventh. Um, we're gonna start early from. Uh, I think we're gonna oh, right now we're gonna be uh, at from five to eleven. So. Okay. Talk a, talk a little bit about where uh, where the <coughs> movies are gonna be shown. Oh, which ones? Or where where are they gonna be shown? Oh, the uh, location. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Also, location is at the Dolby Atmos Theater at the UNLV mm -hmm. FDH Room One Hundred Nine. It's a big theater. Mm -hmm. it, it fits two hundred fifty four people. And again, it was because of last year we created a fire hazard. Let's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, find the biggest space you can. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. no, that's cool, man. That's, and that's uh, a pretty big surround sound. I have a lot of people. We have our sponsors going to be helping us putting the, the thing together. They're focused on quality. They want to like, we want to like watch the film. So like surround sound and, you know, I want to be almost in the film. That's how, you know, it's going to be an experience, you yeah. know. Yeah, that's amazing, bro. Um, uh, tell me uh, how the the blocks are gonna work because I know you're doing like a horror block and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be four blocks. One will be uh, one block would be hosted by Fran Francis. She's a producer of Forty Eight. Mm -hmm. You know, this year's so Francis our Rose Paduna Nanan. -nan. Yeah, yeah. Our competition <laughs> who's also our friend, you know. <laughs> and then uh, and then eccentric artists, talented filmmakers. They're uh, they're really good friends of mine. Uh, we worked on a couple projects together. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, they're going to be hosting Juan Block. And then uh, Gabriel and I, we're going to be hosting the Sheep Wolf, Uribe Films, Los Budos Media Block. Mm. And it's horror. It's all horror. It's horror. All the films, you, uh, all the blocks are going to ha have horror in every genre, but this specifically one. Specific one is going to have a horror, just horror films. Okay. And then the final block, which is, you know, the 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 49-hour block, that one is going to be, yeah, just 49-hour films. All the competition films. films. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, I give you props, bro, because it's a lot of work from what, yeah. from what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, I, I only slept two hours today. I've been struggling. You're still doing stuff. Yeah, man. So talk a little bit about the process of putting all this together, like what goes into it. And, you know, you say you get no sleep, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, because uh, I get obsessed. When I do a project, I get really obsessed. And then I'm always thinking, always thinking. And I'm like, oh, I got to do this, this, and this. And mm -hmm. then when I relax... My other team members call me and like, hey, we got to do this. And then like, oh, crap. Now that now uh, they get me energized mm -hmm. again, they get me energized. But then I'm, I, I don't I already lost like 20 pounds, I think, maybe or 10 pounds. I know I lost weight because this shirt, to be honest, it didn't fit me. <laughs> now it fits me. So. So, yeah, it's 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 a passion. That's the thing. We say it's a passion because we're not like again, we're not making money from it, which is like we got to start making money. But again, it, we're all this is the second year. But uh yeah, we're we're just running on just energy and, and helping each other out. We we struggle a lot. That the thing is, we're all brand new, we're, mm -hmm. and just like the people are going to be competing during the forty nine, we're also going to be going around checking on them, making sure they're okay, mm -hmm. caption BTS. And again, we're with you guys. You know, we want to say that we're with them because we want to make sure they're you know they're doing pretty good. And we have a lot of people involved. You know, mm -hmm. they want to be part of it. But again, that's what we want to see. We want to get everybody involved. And we do find, we'll help you find a team. That's what happened last year. We found everybody that wanted to be in the team. We found them a team. It, whether you're, you know, you want to act or you want to, you know, you want to act, be part of the crew. We'll find you a team for sure. And uh, we have, uh, yeah, we have, you could follow us on Facebook. Uh, we have a Facebook group where you could actually post there that you're looking for a team or, you know, we'll help you find a team for sure okay that's dope man um yeah i love everything that you're doing bringing all these like people together the mixers is a good place to find uh actors and other and, other other crew right anything that, that filmmaking we're, we're open to like you could just come and meet other other filmmakers you don't even have to you know compete in the challenge you, it, just come hang out yeah because that's the thing is <laughs> that's we what wanna, i'm doing <laughs> yeah that's the thing is yeah we have people just want to hang out and meet mm -hmm. and, and connect with other filmmakers and then yeah. from that they'll you know, one day create a movie, make a movie, yeah, you know? Exactly. And, it's just a good uh, networking uh, yeah. event um, if you're not going to do the competition. But we encourage you to do the competition. Yeah. Uh, November 3rd is when it's going down for and 49 then, hours. And then if you want to submit your shorter feature film, do that too. Because we're mainly focusing on Las Vegas uh, films, you know? That's mm -hmm. what we want to do. We are going to showcase other international and out-of-state but like we want to, we want to show what Las Vegas has, you know, yeah. has to offer. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I love it. All right, man. That's Jose Uribe. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>